And hello YouTube, this is GS Mouse Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe After Effects and how to export your file, take a look at some of the different exporting settings, and what exactly, which codecs you want to use and which settings you want to use, depending on what you're going to be doing with your project file. Now here I just have a very simple composition that I just put together in like literally five minutes. We just have a cheeky little an, an, an animation here. Uh, nothing really special. We just have a text flying over the screen and fading out basically. So obviously your composition may be simpler, maybe more advanced, but essentially when you finished doing whatever you're doing with your video file you want to go up to composition here and you want to click add to render queue now you do have an option if you happen to have the uh, adobe uh, the uh, if you happen to have the adobe media encoder it's actually a really great tool to use because it allows you to render your projects while still working on other projects which is really cool Whenever you're working on something in Premiere Pro or After Effects, if you want to render something but you still want to use the program, because if you notice, if you use the actual render queue, you can't use the program anymore. But if you use the media encoder, it'll render in that specific program and you can still use After Effects or Premiere Pro. So if you have the media encoder, I highly encourage you to use it. If not though, you can always use the render queue and both of these have similar settings. So we're gonna go ahead and use render queue since I know the majority of you probably don't have the encoder. So when we click render queue here, you'll see a box come at the bottom here. Now the main things you wanna take a look at is your output too. And this basically just tells you what you wanna name your project and where you wanna save it to. If you click the link here, it'll bring you to this box right here which is where you can save it if you want to save it in your downloads folder your documents folder desktop you just pick a folder you want to save it to and you can name it at the bottom here now don't worry about the extension here because it would change just change the name if you want to change it and then go ahead and click save however the important part comes here now we're going to take a look at the settings first the render settings and if you know your way around After Effects and you know how to uh, customize uh, settings, you can go around and change some of these settings here if you know what you're doing. But for the most part, most people are usually going to use this down arrow here and either pick best settings or draft. Now for draft settings, it's really only if you want to test out your video, if you want to check motion graphics, or if you would just want to see how it comes out obviously you want to pick draft settings if you want to completely render it if you're finally done with it you obviously want to use best settings some of the other, some of the other options you have there are similar to best settings they just have different constraints and different parameters but for the most part you're either going to be using draft settings or best settings so i'm going to be using best settings but like i said you can go ahead and click the link here and you'll get the window here and you can actually change some of these such as the resolution that you want to export in whether you're exporting in full resolution half or quarter or a third and interestingly on the right side here this is also very useful you can change which part of your composition you want to export if you only want to export the first five seconds you can customize it so only the first five seconds are exported or if you want to export the entire thing you can change that here as well other than that, there's not really much else of interest here unless you actually really know what you're doing and if you really want to get nitpicky with the settings. So for the most part, most people will be picking best settings. Now another important part when exporting your video is to take a look at the output module. Now by default, it will give you lossless and what lossless basically means is that it'll take a long time to render, you'll get a very big file size. However, lossless is used so that you don't lose any quality in your video. Usually lossless is used when you're going to be using that composition in another editor. For example, if you're creating a composition for a YouTube video, say you're green screening yourself, then you're basically only going to have your short video 
with a green screen you're probably gonna have a chroma key effect and if you want to export that you want to export it in lossless so that you can then add that video to movie maker or to adobe premiere pro or to sony vegas to then export uh, the same with if you're making a little introduction you don't want to export your introduction in say an mp4 file because it's going to get compressed you're going to lose some quality so most of the time you want to export in lossless so that you don't lose any quality however if this is your final state of editing usually they call it if this is post-production where you won't be editing anymore or you won't be adding this to another video editor then you may want to pick a different output module such as mp4 or some of the other ones that they have there or quicktime and you can access those by clicking the down arrow as well as you see here here they have some presets for you but like with the other links you can click the link here and they give you a lot more options now over here in format you have a list here most of the time you're going to be exporting an h.264 which is an mp4 file you may also be able to export in quicktime if you want to export as an image sequence you can do that as well but uh, you can export as a flash or an avi that's completely fine but like i said if you're going to be adding this composition, this video file, to another video editor to render it once again, then you're going to want to use lossless. Among these settings, you have a ton of other stuff as well, such as exporting audio down here at the bottom. And usually, by default, this is usually if you have audio in your composition, it'll export with it. If you don't have audio in the composition, it won't export with it. But you can always double check in the bottom here. Now, if you're ever creating an animation or if you're ever creating something in After Effects that has an alpha channel and doesn't have a solid color background, you have the ability to change the channel here, such as the RGB and the alpha or the alpha channel. That way you're not having a white background if you're actually working with an alpha channel. But most of the time, if you're not working with an alpha channel, if you're just trying to either green screen something or if you have, or you're creating a YouTube introduction, or if you're creating something that doesn't have a transparent background, you want to stay on RGB, which is the background. So aside from that, you can then click OK. And after you've done all that, you've named your file, you've picked a file location, you've picked best settings, and you've selected whether you want to have it in lossless or in another format. In fact, I'm going to pick H.264 then all you have to do is then all you have to do is click the render button right here and this will basically start rendering your entire video and you'll see a little bar move uh, from this side all the way to the other side here and depending how long your video is will depend on how long it would take also depending on if you pick lossless or not lossless it will also uh, factor into how long this will take but when this bar completely fills up you'll basically have the file ready and it'll be saved in the location that you selected from the output to option so that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial hopefully you learned something we have plenty of other adobe after effects tutorials on the channel as well as other software tutorials and different videos about computers and other tutorials so if you want to check that out you may do so I subscribe if you haven't any comments questions any pro problems or troubles you may run into or you know any just curiosity questions or things you may get stuck on leave in the comment section below I usually try my best to answer the questions that'll be for this video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching and i hope this video helped you out in any way if you enjoyed this video please leave a like it'll really help me out if you didn't like it you can leave a comment as well giving some feedback if you have any other comments or questions please leave them in the comments as well and i'll do my best to answer them i usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy i am i have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how to videos so if you're interested in that type of stuff check it out and if you like what you're seeing you can subscribe too really appreciate it you can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.